Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on how to download and install Zoom on your computer or laptop. This is for Zoom meetings, Zoom online classes, and Zoom interviews. Free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing we want to go ahead and do is open up an internet browser of your choosing. Mine happens to be Chrome that I'm going to be opening up. And go to your favorite search engine. Mine happens to be Google. And either here on the search line or up here on the URL address line, I can go ahead and just type in Zoom, Z-O-O-M. Once you do that, the very first link that should come up is zoom.us and right below here you can see the word download and that's what we want to go ahead and click on so once you do that takes us to the zoom website and the first page that comes up is the download center and the first option here which is zoom client which is the most popular download and this is used for any laptops or desktop computers as well as tablets also. Now keep in mind that the web browser client will download automatically when you start or join your first Zoom meeting and it's also available for manual download here and that's what we're doing. We're going to manually download this and install it on our laptop computer. But before I click on the download here, let me point out that there are other Zoom downloads available here, like the Zoom plugin for Microsoft Outlook email, the Zoom plugin for IBM Notes, the Zoom extensions for browsers like Chrome and Firefox. And by the way, they work great if you like to go ahead and add those extensions to those two browsers. And of course, what good would Zoom cloud meetings be without the mobile app? that will allow you to definitely do a Zoom meeting anywhere, any place, at any time via your smartphone. And you can download the mobile app from the App Store or the Google Play Store and, you know, use the mobile app for Zoom cloud meetings or online classes or job interviews anytime, any place. And then we have Zoom rooms for conference rooms and touchscreen displays. We also have controllers for Zoom Rooms, and you can download that from the Google Play, Microsoft Store, or the App Store. And last but not least, we have the Zoom plugin for Skype for Business. So if you're already using Skype for Business, you can add the Zoom plugin to Skype and have the best of both worlds, really. Okay, let's go ahead and go back up top here. Um, within the Zoom Download Center. And we want to go ahead and click on the Zoom Client for Meetings download button. And this will install the Zoom Client on our laptop computer or desktop computer. And uh, when we do, it downloads the Zoom Installer.exe. And I clicked on it, and that's what you need to do as well. And you know, sometimes when you do click on that exe, Keep in mind it is perfectly safe to install and it has no malware or viruses attached to it. This is a legit site and sometimes you'll get this user account control prompt within Windows. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And this um, is basically Windows asking you if you want to let Zoom video communications install the Zoom client on your computer. And definitely click on yes. By default, it's no, but you want to go ahead and click on yes. And that will allow the installation of the Zoom client on your computer or your laptop computer. And the installation only takes a few seconds, by the way. And once it's done installing the client on your computer, you'll get the Zoom cloud meeting prompt. And we can go ahead and shrink the browser because we no longer need it open. Now within the Zoom cloud meeting prompt here, go ahead and click on join a meeting and you get this next prompt. This is where you would enter an ID or personal link name and then right below that you would enter your name. In my case I entered Nick N-I-C-K and then I would click on join. 
and then it would prompt me for a password. Now, where do you get your ID or your personal link or your password? And that would be most likely if you were joining a, you know, a Zoom meeting um, online for a online class or an interview. Um, it would be sent to you via a text message or an email message. So that's where you would get that and also your password that you would need to use to join the meeting would be enclosed or included within that text message or your email. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like. And remember to share.